Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joe and today we are over here in the number five clan in the world Savage Skull on the global charts They are listed number one on the international charts. This clan is rock star in it And so I'm basically over here to learn some strategies like right now We got the scatter shots being incorporated into the game at Town Hall 13 and I am in Legends League But I'm only like 5300 on the charts, So it's like nothing special there So I want to learn from the best I want to get better and we're gonna take a look at multiple attacks today I mean there are so many different strategies that they're posting that I can't even determine like what's the best one now I've been quite successful with some queen charge hog riders, but these guys they're on a completely different level and I want to sh Oh my gosh, we're gonna start out with an attack here by Khalid and we got a 37 hog rider attack guys 37 hog riders that this, this is nothing new. We've seen something like this at Town Hall 12 before, but we're going to start out with some focus on this base style with the Town Hall on the far right. And this is mostly that trap style base. We got that Town Hall. We got the Clan Castle troops coming out. There's a Wall Wrecker in there as well as a Poison Spell. King in there, Queen, and a few Pekka to basically clear up some of these storages and grant access. Now, there is an Ice Golem that came out of that Wall Wrecker, which is going to freeze everything in place and shut down this Giga Inferno Tower. So you got the Queen working her way in. Ice Golem is going to freeze that dragon and allow the queen to take it down and they're going to basically deal with this situation now you'll notice that our heroes do not have that auto ability turned on which is basically what's expected from your competitive players anyways and as that queen gets her way into the royal champion her ability will in fact be used pekka is doing a nice job clearing up some buildings down here on the south side working down towards that southern corner and then the royal champion will die now you're going to notice that there's going to be an ice golem and a royal champion placed off to the flank and then all 37 hog riders moving into this location are basically sweeping the entire base two heal spells a skeleton spell to deal with that enemy queen and then a rage spell place for our hogs moving through this scatter shot location they need to get in on that eagle artillery and take it down so you got a nice wide spread of hogs taking down multiple defenses in on the eagle taking down the second to last inferno tower as well as finding a tornado trap in the process so obviously our hogs are you know playing ring around the rosy for a second and then they're going to continue moving on into that final heal spell down into the final scatter shot which is a level two so that's actually really nice to see a high level scatter shot in action a couple of them would be a, in, uh, as a matter of fact and then you're going to see our hogs move through the final defense it's just completely sweeping it 37 hogs absolutely amazing attack to see how effective this is going to be on other base styles i don't really think it's going to be but Again, let's not discredit our attacker here. Phenomenal work with all those hogs. Back in, clean up with the wizards, and let's go ahead and speed it up. That way you can see the army for yourself. Remember the base style. This was what it was effective on, but it might not be effective on every single base. There's your army. Let's get into our next attack. During my search of these replays, I definitely wanted to maintain some certain parameters in the sense of them both you know, having two scatter shots as well as an actual Town Hall 13. I didn't want to show too many of the Town Hall 12s because a lot of you guys are going to be pushing up and you're going to start running into these scatter shot situations. Now, there is a stage one Giga Inferno Tower, but it's only a level one, so it's nothing like too major just yet. But we got a Pekka Bobat going on here, and I wasn't really sure if the Pekka Bobat was going to be very effective, but it looks like Harry's going to do very well with it. Electro Dragon's getting some nice value on these stacked buildings. All these buildings are stacked up real nice with one tile difference in between, and it's perfect for your Electro Dragons, obviously just outside of range of any air defenses, so they're going to get a really beautiful value here. Wall Wrecker looks like we got a large group of Bowlers and Pekkas, Healers. Uh, Queen, Grand Warden, King. King's going to stay on the outside, which is not a bad thing. And they are basically going to redirect and move into a rage spell following this wall wrecker. Doesn't look like he has any jump spells in this composition, so he's really dependent on the strength of the bowlers powering through walls since that wall wrecker is kind of slow. Pekkas are going to lead the way. We got another rage spell. Looks like the clan castle troops happen to be a baby dragon and a couple of witches. So very dangerous clan castle here. Looks like we got the poison spell down. Grand Warden's ability is going to be used to preserve the life of that wall wrecker and get it through the next layer of walls. King has worked its way around with a few healers as well as a P.E.K.K.A. And then you're going to see our Bat Swarm coming across Bat Wave moving across the base. And the first heal spell down on one of the Wizard Towers. Wizard Tower is going to be frozen for a moment. Then it's going to come unfrozen. Another free spell on both the Giga Inferno Tower as well as a standard Inferno Tower off to the right side of your screen. And those bats are having a little bit of an issue, obviously. But they are tying up beams and tying up defenses, which takes a lot of the pressure off 
of your ground troops. So we got, looks like the Royal Champion in on the Town Hall. Queen has taken down an air defense, and then she's going to take down a uh, fast fast paced archer tower and then she's going to retarget after she hits this cannon and move her way down into the giga inferno tower and take it down on the back end of the base though since the air defense was taken out we do have one single level eight dragon and it's going to in fact move its way into a wizard tower location looks like we have one more archer tower and that is going to be a wash with the uh, remaining troops being a pekka royal champion and the queen it's going to be a slow cleanup but beautiful attack regardless nice plan for the back end cleanup there with that dragon to finish it up i mean beautiful work here by harry getting this base taken down and this is a very popular base design so this is something that we see quite regular there is your army right there let's go ahead and get into our next attack i'll tell you one thing with this clan so far they're making it really difficult to determine like what is the best attack at town hall 13 right now i can't even make a decision on this but in this replay here we do have scatter shots look like they're level one and then we have a level four or a stage four giga inferno tower so it looks like we're going to come in with some electro dragons we got balloons we got the electron setup so you got the blimp moving through battle blimp hitting the rage spell location as well as the clone spell now you will get a clone out of that electro dragon i think the queen was the target here more than likely the queen was the target since she is frozen but unfortunately he will be unsuccessful i don't think that it really necessarily matters though unfortunately well actually fortunately for him it is uh that's a good thing so you got the electro dragon down on the south side clearing some buildings and so it looks like he's going to take a moment to kind of readdress the situation since he was planning for that queen to fall with that electron process now it looks like we got a single minion working on a few things over there we're going to go directly into the clan castle pulling them out with the baby dragon with the balloon there was a single balloon and then all of your electro dragons are going to be dropped into this town hall's location triggering that town hall dealing with multiple items freeze spell down with a group of balloons raging it and the grand warden's ability to power through this location now remember with the stage four town hall 13 you do have that frost effect or that freeze effect that slows the troops way down uh, it does not stop our attack here though. they're going to hit that first inferno tower freezing the second inferno tower they are set on multi-target minus the one on the back side the back side is in fact a single target another rage spell down and they are in fact going to get that queen down this time around king queen and the royal champion are going to work their way around the outsides of the base so this is a good thing royal champion does fall e-drag on that single target inferno tower but the rest of our group are on the back end over here where the eagle artillery is located and they're going to get some nice value out of these stacked defenses all these defenses are really nicely tightly put together and they're just going to basically fall apart with the shots from our electro dragon now king queen have worked their way down king's ability is used and the queen is going to step in and deal with that expo and looks like we're down to one electro dragon it's going to finish up taking down multiple defenses queen's ability is going to be used she's going to take down that final builder's hut as well as the final inferno tower thank you know thankfully there was some damage done to it so that queen will in fact be successful and we will see not a very nice three-star attack with some electro dragon sweeping the base even with a little bit of a failed electron it didn't really matter they were still quite successful so there's your army let's get into our next attack okay so for our fourth attack we do have two different walks going on here we're going to see a grand warden walk and a queen walk now man there's so many different attacks that these guys are posting that i don't even know like what's going to be the best like i guess it really depends on your skill set and what you are used to using so i mean we've seen hogs already we've seen peckabo bat we've seen electro dragon Dragons. I got some Lalo going on in this uh, chat right now. Looks like there's a couple of dragon attacks. This stuff is crazy, but in this one right here, we have the Grand Warden walk. That poor wizard over just got roasted. And then there's going to be a queen walk on the top side of the base. You're going to get to see bowlers, witches, pekkas, and king in the core of this base. Now, this is a stage five Giga Inferno Tower, and looks like we have scatter shots placed on the outsides of the base. I'm not necessarily understanding the intent there, but this base was a little bit of a funneling nightmare. So nice approach here by Land. Minister. All right, so you're going to see the wall wrecker and a few Pekkas. They're going to take down that uh, scatter shot. Then the witches, bowlers are going to follow it up, and the healers are going to tie in as well as the Grand Warden. So that queen is going to work her way around the top side, target that eagle artillery, take it out. So nice approach there. Rage spell down. Grand Warden's ability used to get our troops to the core of this base and preserve the life of that wall wrecker. Getting into the town hall's location, another rage spell, poison spell, and there happens to be a lava hound and a few witches so we got a nightmare of a clan castle going on here the freeze effect from that level five giga inferno tower is going to slow everything down and then the hound is going to pop so those witches are going to be tied up for a moment
tournament. Royal Champion is going to sneak in on the back end and go after a few defenses on the other side of the base. So taking down the Expo while our King is drawing the healer support. So he's tied up taking down the enemy queen and looks like our witches are still in there working on some lava puffs. So it's going to take a little while, but just to top it off, you're going to see bats from the back end. So nice bat wave to come around and assist our Royal Champ taking down the final defenses. Freeze spell down on that wizard tower down on the southern side of the base. It looks like we're down to one wizard tower remaining, which is going to be taken out by the king and the P.E.K.K.A. So beautiful, beautiful attack. Very nicely done. I really like this attack. I might have to start working on something like this just to see how it works out for myself. Uh, bats are going to finish up on that final hidden Tesla and we are on cleanup. So there's another ground attack for you guys. I mean, this is good stuff. If you have those high level heroes, definitely try it out for yourself. If you're confident as a warden walker and you don't have a lot of defenses, swag on a free spell in the core as well as a, sp a swagged queen. And let's go ahead and get into our next attack. For our fifth attack, it's not necessarily an attack by a player that's in Savage Skull. He did share it with us though. This was a defense. So it's a little bit of diversity. I shared a video recently on this attack strategy. It's the all dragon and balloon with the stone slammer. And so a little bit of funneling with the dragons before dropping all those balloons, double rage spells and a freeze spell is going to be dropped on that eagle artillery to shut down the expo. And so you're going to get to see a nice sweep here by Nord Nation. He's in, the, he's actually clanless uh, against this base with very tight defenses all the way down the south side. But our dragons are going to focus their way towards the north side. Looks like he got that Grand Warden on air ability. He's going to assist our troops. There was a stage four Town Hall 13 in this replay and two single target Inferno Towers. They're going to work their way into this location, have to deal with one single scatter shot and the grand warden's ability is going to be used to at least secure the nice two star just in case this is in fact going to be a three star attack you're going to see the king queen and a royal champ dropped on the opposite side of the base rage spell down on the royal champion so she can get in there and do some serious damage her ability does get used to do some damage to that single target inferno tower and i think the intent actually i know the intent there was to get rid of that multi or that single target but it just just didn't happen unfortunately so that royal champion does go down king is down at this point and now slow the dragons are going to work their way into that single target inferno tower after having to deal with a lava hound so this lava hound is going to tie those dragons up for a moment but it gives our queen time to work and she's going to assist a dragon to get in here and take down the additional buildings and the dragon's going to get tied up on that expo for a moment our dragons that have been slowly dealing with the pups from that lava hound do turn around and finally take down that single target saving the three star attack and there's some diversity for you guys just showing you off that dragon and balloon attack all right to wrap up this video for for our final attack, JC shares this defense. This was his base, as a matter of fact. But this is a beautiful replay. So it's a la low attack. You're going to see a nice queen charge at the beginning of this bad boy. And the main focal point is to get this town hall down. Looks like we got a stage one town hall 13. Couple of scatter shots around it. And the focus is going to be in the top side. Let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. All right, so queen's going to be dropped up there in the northern point. Dro uh, balloon drop to seek out seeking air mine and then those healers are going to be placed so we're going to see this queen work her way through some buildings up here and get into this town hall's location so scout wall breakers are dropped wall breakers are dropped to find a spring trap <laughs> they went flying off the map queen has to battle it out versus a king under pressure and she's lost a lot of health but the rage spell is going to save her as well as the opening by the wall breaker that hit the rage spell so king's ability is going to be used to clear out buildings to make sure this queen goes in towards the town hall possibly right there's going to be a one wall breaker scout that misses and then you're going to see another group of wall breakers drop to get into this compartment we got to get in there and open up this compartment so we got two different targets here by the wall breakers they're finally going to have a little bit of success and open up this wall for the queen queen's going to step into this first air defense have to deal with some clan castle troops we got a whole mess of archers as well as witches which are just a pain in the neck to deal with but the poison spell is going to help our queen no rage spell required and that queen is going to step in in a moment we gotta wait for it there goes a rage spells okay so rage spells drop now and then the queen's gonna step into that tier one gig inferno tower free spell dropped on that town hall to deal with it and preserve the life of what little bit of healers we do have left Queen's going to deal with a few different defenses here in the Wizard Tower, Scattershot, and an Expo, taking a lot of pressure off defensive buildings. And next, you're going to see your uh, Stone Slammer dropped. I had to think about that. We got a Stone Slammer dropped. And 
then we got Lava Hounds, Balloons moving into multiple defenses. Looks like we got three Hidden Tesla's right now, and the Queen is still alive, sort of. She's going to get dropped by that Eagle Artillery, but she does, in fact, deal with the enemy Queen in the core. So very nice value out of that Queen Charge. Wowza, just an absolutely beautiful Queen Charge. So on the back end of the space, you're going to see a Royal Champion sneak in and a Balloon or two, and that Royal Champion is going to take a lot of the force off of those Balloons as they move through this frozen location hay spell down to launch our balloons over into the final expos cannons and that final air defense taking down that eagle with the stone slammer and then you got minions on the back end so this video was really intentionally to get some diversity out there for what you guys are possibly using right now there's all kinds of stuff working what's the best nobody really knows we've seen in this video uh, Electro Dragons, Pekka Bobat, Hog Riders, a La Lo, Queen Charge La Lo, beautiful Queen Charge La Lo, and we also got to see dragons and balloons in action. So thank you guys over here in Savage Skull for showing off these replays, these beautiful attacks, whether they were yours or defenses, it doesn't really matter, but we want to get this information out to the community, so that way we can get some more trophy pushers up there in Legends League. There's your army right there, and if you enjoyed the content today, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and we will see you in the next one, guys. Take care.